What Shirley Strawberry has been through since the arrest of her husband and the subsequent allegations against him are unbelievable. She felt like she was stuck on an intense roller coaster. What if you knew the whole terrifying story? When close friends or family members are going through it, they may start talking about it. They may just want to be heard. The accusations are quite severe. Thus, the defendant faces a very lengthy jail term. After these incidents, the media ramped up their coverage, gathering as much information as possible and providing a merciless analysis of the situation. The former members of Williams' entourage became a hot issue of discussion in courts around the country, despite the fact that there was already substantial controversy regarding Williams' outstanding warrants and assertions of his violent character. Since her husband's wrongdoings are outlined in full and stringent legal papers, the gravity of the situation becomes clear. Make a show for the same crowd she spoke to in her prior appearance. The stage is set for a public performance of Shirley's private drama. Despite her notoriety as a co-host on the Steve Hardy Morning Program, Strawberry is now in the headlines for the very opposite reason. A dozen people scammed out of a million dollars. Two people have been arrested on a number of fraud charges. Fox 5's Denise Dillon talked to Roswell police about the pair's extensive business scheme and why they believe there are more victims. On the 7th of this month, more, more severe allegations were filed against him. But things escalated rapidly and were soon out of hand. The RP case apparently sparked more charges, as reported on January 8, 2019. Despite the fact that no minors were mentioned in this accusation, Ernesto Williams' most recent offenses were included in his personal file to show how his problems escalated to threatening proportions in order to satisfy the perverted desires of another person. Aggravated sodomy and aggravated sexual battery are two of the most shocking crimes since they include the unwanted touching of another person's private parts. The crime's aggravating factors suggest that a foreign item was used. That's why it's so terrible that they did it. The state of Georgia, where these occurrences are said to have occurred, has strict laws against aggravated violence. Add strict laws against aggravated violence. Police say their investigation first started at this home on Pine Grove Road months ago. Investigators say after Williams and King hadn't paid rent for a while, detectives started looking into their financial transactions, and it led them to their extensive scheme. Shirley faces a sentence of at least 25 years and maybe life in jail if she is convicted of this crime during which time she will be separated from her husband permanently. Given the horrific claims against him, it's impossible not to express disbelief at Shirley's choice of a life partner. Two of Williams' claimed victims have come forward to claim they are his biological offspring, which is a tragic turn of events. Williams has to be subjected to stringent limitations, including an ankle monitor, restricted internet use, and no contact with youngsters. The prosecution's case against him has been greatly bolstered by his recent admissions, and the possible outcomes are dire. With many counts against him, Ernesto Williams is already upstream. However, he is still trying. He's prepared to confront the storm head on, as seen by his petition to seal relevant documents. Return with me to the 5th of May, 2022. The next day, Atlanta police reportedly took Williams to his apartment complex in a stolen automobile. Williams went all the way across the apartment complex, but the police never lost track of him. He was instructed to lay down on the deck as they drew near. Anyone who enjoys crime shows would be devastated by the ensuing search. A Glock pistol fitted with a mechanism for transforming it into a Ben submachine gun was discovered by the police. The suspect's hoodie pocket contained 3.5 grams of narcotics and two key rings. Williams, a former inmate who was arrested with a firearm in his possession, is accused of many minor offenses. He has not wavered in his resolve to deny these allegations. Williams finally entered a guilty plea, but his 24-month jail term was severe. But there's more. This two-year sentence will run concurrently with any further terms imposed in compliance with the plea agreement. Let me just state that there was absolutely zero humor in it. No, this arrangement raises the possibility that Williams may spend a considerable length of time in prison in light of the severe allegations against him. It's becoming more and more probable that he won't be getting out of jail anytime soon. Williams may be looking at a lengthy jail sentence if this scenario plays out, so he should start making preparations now. But now Ernesto Williams is back in the spotlight. He and his made-up girlfriend Erica Kane are accused of orchestrating a scam that would put a professional con artist to shame. Collectively, they stand accused of promising victims financial success while in reality taking their hard-earned cash and running. This person to be a flight risk, we have jail calls where he's talking about going to see his girlfriend. And However, Williams is no stranger to the courts. It turns out that Shirley and Williams' Roswell home were almost next door to one another. 
The Roswell police investigated their business partnership when they began missing rent payments and had checks returned for insufficient funds. The inquiry uncovered a massive loan recovery scheme. Williams and King offered consumers false optimism by promising to help them create businesses, reach personal objectives, and even expand social media followings. But their services never materialized. More than a dozen victims were left penniless and without any of their possessions when the money was switched. Officer Tim Lupo of the Roswell Police Department verified these dubious activities and said he would offer the promised services and items at a later date, but he never did. Trump family, who also highlighted the obvious lack of aid given to their victims, a rental fraud case served as the impetus on Pine Grove Road. But when they dug further, the police uncovered a tangled web of fraud, forgeries, and theft at the heart of the company's operations. Because of this, Williams and King were accused of being complicit in a complex fraud. Investigators think there may be more victims who won't come forward out of shame or fear. Shirley's undeniable kinship to Williams was established when she pleaded for Williams' release from jail in a letter to the court. The judge then detailed his specific instructions to Williams. The initial bail amount was far over $800,000. Second, Ernesto was forbidden to interact with his offspring and grandkids. How could Shirley wind up with a husband like that, though? 2013 has come and gone. Shirley, Sheridan's daughter, played Cupid when Ernesto proposed to Shirley after meeting for the first time on Steve Harvey's morning program. Ironically, Ernesto's victims included both her and her children. In intercepted communication mentioning mutual acquaintance, Steve Harvey sparked speculation that Harvey had a role in setting up the encounter. Based on this information, it was suggested in the discussion that Harvey may give William refuge at his rumored second house in Abu Dhabi. This continued for quite some time. Fans are understandably curious as to whether or if Steve Harvey's morning program would cover this little-known William piece. But radio silence by Shirley is the one that really sticks out. Waiting for the storm to pass so she can go back to work on the program, Shirley is playing the waiting game. This is what one insider who requested anonymity says. But let's be honest, the scope of this problem makes it more than a scandal. It might affect the careers of several people, including Steve Harvey and Shirley. But what do these things even mean? Is Shirley attempting to redeem herself, or is she just showing her undying love for her husband in this act? William's submachine pistol silencer got him jailed. William's possession of firearms, especially this sort, and the charge of sexual offenses have serious repercussions for him, and such weapons may not belong to a criminal like him, making this transgression severe and guaranteed to add to his legal woe. But what do these things even mean? Is Shirley attempting to redeem herself, or is she just showing her undying love for her husband in this act? We've reached the conclusion of the video. Please share your thoughts below. 